He gives us a recap. Right. Okay. Our story so far. In the course of their afternoon-long investigation through St. Mysterie, Luke and Layton stumble on a rumor about some mysterious kidnappings. The professor has a hunch that Ramon's disappearance in these kidnappings must be connected. In a quest for further details, the intrepid pair continue, oh, excuse me, continue their search of St. Mysterie into the night. All right. So we need to collect info at the cafe. Well, then I guess we should probably head in that direction, huh? It's wild. It's wild to be back playing more Leighton. Let's talk to this man. Oh, goodness, whatever shall I do? I mean, it should go without saying. I don't remember what their voices were. What seems to be the trouble, sir? Let's see here. Strong, young, and you look like you have a good back. Oh, thank heavens you came along. I beg your pardon? I've searched everywhere, and I just can't find the thing. Oh, I suppose I must have dropped it while I was out strolling by the park. That's right, he dropped something. It was like a, he said a cog, I believe. It was a cog with a special symbol on it. I will go search for it myself, but it's gotten dark out. It is awfully scary just out there. Bah, nothing of the sort. It's just that, well, I'm no spring chicken anymore, and my eyes aren't as sharp as they used to be. So how about it, Sonny? Will you go, will you help out an old man and go search in front of the park for me? What? But we are in the middle of our investigation right now. Now, now, Luke, no need to be rude. After all, the park is but a small ways away. And who knows, we might actually find some new information to aid our case there. Besides, helping those in need is the duty of any gentleman. Splendid. I'll wait right here for you to come back. I'm counting on you. One more detail, sir. What exactly did you drop? Drop? I... Oh, my. Now, what was it? Um... Oh, that's right. It was my watch. Actually, my best wristwatch. Bring it back for me, Sonny. Okay, so before we head to the cafe, let's go search the park. This is the correct way to the park, yes? Yes. I hope he lets us in. I pray he lets us in. Yawn. You want lost something again? I think he's getting kind of slow. He's always dropping stuff. So, what did he drop this time? Let me guess. Was it a witch wristwatch? Hmm? Indeed, he all did drop a wristwatch. Did you pick it up around here? Oh, uh, yep. Well, actually, no, because Beatrice was actually the one to find it. Thing is, it was already late when she found it, so she decided to hold on to it until morning. Go to the inn, and you could probably ask her for it. So there you go. Now that I've got your attention, could you give me a hand and solve this here puzzle? Here we go. Starting already. Dark places give me the willies, but I wanted to solve this puzzle so bad I came out here for help. The puzzle is all about stars, see? Maybe you can make sense of the thing, hmm? Of course, I'll be happy to help you with it. All right, here we go. First puzzle back. It's the biggest star, and it's worth 20 pick rats. For those of you who don't know, pick rats are basically points in this game. Um, the more pick rats a puzzle is worth, the more difficult that puzzle is. So this one shouldn't be too bad. I think the lowest I've ever seen is five, and the biggest I've ever seen maybe 50, 55, something like that. Legend has it that people used to stare up at the heavens and find images of animals or important events in the constellations. Looking up at the star-filled sky here, try to connect the five largest objects in space to form the largest five-pointed star possible. Connect stars by drawing a line between them. Make sure that your line doesn't pass through another star along the way. Okay, so we want to collect, connect the five largest stars to make the largest five-pointed star possible. Looking at it, the five largest are this one, this one, this one, this one. What's the next, what's the next star? The next biggest star. I can't tell what the fifth biggest one is. Maybe this one? One, two, three, four, and five. Now we have to draw lines to connect them, but we can't pass through another star along the way. So clearly this is one line. Is this a line? I think that counts. 
Will it let me? Yeah, it'll, it'll let me put it so that it does go over another star. Okay, so I gotta be careful. Here. Here. Oh no, that ain't it. It clearly ain't that one. Da, na, 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 na. Let's see. Just figuring out which five are the biggest is the hardest part, I guess. Five pointed star. Mm -hmm. Here, here. So then we need one that's over this way, right? And then that, and then that. So we can go here. We know that. Now we just need to figure out where that last star is. That's the that's the hard part. What if one, two, three, four, and five? Then it would be this, 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 this. But that passes over. See, that's the hard part. Figuring out the five stars that are the biggest. This one. This one. We're at this point already, huh? It's gonna give me the first hint and it's not gonna matter. It's not gonna matter at all. The shape you're trying to make is a five-pointed star. It's easy enough to form a star by just connecting five points, but you're aiming to make the biggest star possible. Look for the five largest objects in space and connect them together. Like I said, it's not gonna matter. That hint's not gonna matter. It's this one, this one, this one, this one. What's the next biggest star? Is it this one? No, that's dumb. Give me, give me another hint. The answer? Oh, that's bullshit. Oh, I'm mad already. I'm mad already. The answer for this puzzle requires you to draw your star upside down. So that would mean that the, the point... The point that should be at the top. Is that a star? Is that counting that as a star? That's not cool. That's not cool at all. If that oh, that's so I'm mad. I'm mad now. Now I'm we just got here. How am I this mad already? Okay. So let's see, we can go here. Five largest objects in space. That's ridiculous. This game cheated. So then we go here, here. I'm hot. I am hot right now. I am so mad. I'm mad. I'm mad at this game already. That should do it. Every puzzle has an answer. I'm mad at this game already. You need to connect the four stars to the Earth. The Earth is, it didn't say star, it said objects in space. I hate this game. Hey, thanks a bunch. I can finally go home and catch a few winks. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah, now I remember. Beatrice from the inn was the one to find Gerard's watch. Don't forget to ask her about it, okay? Okay, see you tomorrow. Yeah. Come, Luke, let's go. Stuffed bear. Oh, that's right. We pick up items. We pick up items, and we can give it to one of the two to put in their room. Now, let's give it to Luke. I'm mad at this game. I'm mad. I'm legitimately mad at this game. Uh, let's see. Let's go to the end. Is this the end? I don't remember. I don't remember which building is which, to be honest. This isn't the end, though. That's the clock tower. There's no way we can show our faces in the manor until we find some sort of clue. We must continue to investigate. I couldn't agree more, Professor. Okay, so I guess... Can they talk to this man? Oh, goodness, whatever shall I do? Uh, I guess we don't need to talk to this man. But this is a different building. 
There seems to be a puzzle embedded in this door. I could have sworn there was nothing there a minute ago. Fascinating. This puzzle appears to be acting as some sort of lock for this door. How delightful. Luke, my boy, why don't you give this puzzle a try? I'm almost certain the door will open if you solve it. Here we go. Get the ball out. Number one. 30 pick rats. Can you get the red ball out of the maze? Slide restructing blocks out of the way to clear a path for the ball. This problem can be solved in as few as 12 moves. So we want to move these blocks around so that the ball will drop down to this hole. Yeah, move blocks and stylus. Oh, I have to move the ball too. It won't fall. Okay. Got it. It can be done in as few as 12 moves. That's interesting. So we move that one there. That was already the wrong thing to do. <laughs> we move this one up. Move this one here. This one here. This one. That. That. Oh, shoot. I should have. No. I want to do it at 12. I want to do this one at 12. I feel like I can do this. Fun fact. I do. Uh, I have an app on my uh, iPad. Oh, it's not going to let me. Okay. There we go. I have an app on my iPad. I believe it's called. I can't remember. I can find the. I can find the name in a little bit. Um, basically, it's puzzles like this all the time. What's going on, Carlos? You missed twenty minutes, but trust me, nothing happened. I just got really mad at a puzzle. <laughs> I got mad at a puzzle. That's about it. Let's see. Seven moves left. I move the ball down here. No, I need to move the ball here. I haven't let go yet. If I move the ball here. Then I can slide that square to the right, the green one up, the one below the ball to the left, and then up one, and then get the ball out. And I think that's 12, isn't it? Yeah, that's 12. Perfect. How does this sound? Perfect. That's how it sounds. It sounds Saves perfect. Saves the day. Saves the day. <laughs> Well done. With all those blocks in the way, getting your ball to the goal was harder than you expected, wasn't it? Very nice. The door should open right up now. All right. I said, that's the end? Is that the end? What did I click before? Oop. I clicked something before and it, it told me it was closed. Yeah, that's wild. Let's see. I'm looking for hint coins. I know I'm going to need it. There we go. There's one. No more? Oh, there we go. There's two. I'm all right with two. I remember that my sister didn't care about the game's history. It only, <laughs> only played to solve the ball puzzle. <laughs> How many ball puzzles are there? How many ball puzzles are there if, if that's what she was playing for? Mm-mm. Granny R. Well, howdy. How do you often find yourself hopelessly, achingly, painfully stuck on puzzles? Well, then, Sonny, you've come to the right place. Welcome to Granny Riddleton's Puzzle Shack. Granny Riddleton? Where can we find this lady? Isn't that obvious? She's right in front of you, boy. No wonder you have trouble solving puzzles. Listen, lady. Listen. That wasn't fair. Layton, Layton used his, his trickery once again to get in my way. That doesn't count. Yes, you are gazing at the beautiful and clairvoyant Granny Riddleton, Guide to the Puzzled Puzzlers. Beautiful and clairvoyant? Professor, do you know what she's going on about? Fret not, Luke. Why don't you let me do the talking here? Sorry to disturb you, Miss Riddleton, but by clairvoyant, do you mean to say that you have psychic powers? Can you do things like, say, pick a criminal out of a crowd or visualize the location of lost objects? Pshaw! Any foreteller can do that. So what if you can see a few days until our future? Big whoop! My specialty, you see, is puzzles. Puzzles forget. Puzzles people forget about. Puzzles people miss. Surely you boys have had a few of those, eh? No need to turn red. It happens to the best of puzzlers. What I do, you'll see, is I take those poor lost little puzzles and invite them to come stay with me. 
Wow, so those puzzles that we tried but weren't able to solve, those puzzles are here now? <laughs> it looks like you finally figured out what makes me so amazing, boy. Now go ahead and give a knock on the door of that little shack behind me. Inside you'll find rows of cute little jars, each one of them stuffed with a forgotten puzzle. I bet you'll find that... I bet you can find those lost puzzles of yours somewhere in the midst of all my little pretties. Alright, so pretty much this is where... This is where I come to do the puzzles that I missed. I don't want to do none of these suckers. <laughs> Let me see, which one was the one... -na 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 -na. I just realized the puzzle music was playing. -na 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 -na. Okay, find the dot was the one that we didn't beat yet. That's the that's the only one that we've tried and haven't beaten yet. Man, my memory is bad. What did I say? Twenty eight. Look at the stream. I just missed it. Dang it. <laughs> I'm going to look one more time. Real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. I'll be quick. It'll be quick, promise. Yeah, 28. Okay, 20 is not in that, that collection that's out just yet. We're just going to move on. We're just going to move on. I'm pretty sure this is just where I come to do that and there's nothing else. What am I? Oh, there we go. We good, Granny? <laughs> Why, howdy? Oh, Lord. You're going to say the same thing. If the cottage is empty, it means that you've solved all the puzzles that are currently available. On the other hand, if you leave too many puzzles unsolved, they might not all fit in the cottage. If that's the case, you can see the rest of your lost puzzles by tapping on my little broom over there. Now go on, see what you have waiting inside the cottage. Yeah, this is just where I go to catch up on puzzles that I've missed. Either missed or haven't solved. Um, We need to go to the inn. There we go. That's what I clicked on before, the town hall. All right, so they're closed. We need to, where's the inn? Uh, is this the inn? No. Doesn't look like it's gonna be open anytime though. Okay, where, hey, where's, where is the inn? I need to go ask about a watch. Is this the inn? Hey, little girl, I'm lost. Where's the inn? I'm sorry, young lady, could you help us? We're looking for someone, you see, and, Sorry, can't help you. And by can't, I mean, don't want to. I barely even talked to Ramon, so I am so not interested in this search. He, <laughs> but maybe if you help me solve this puzzle, I just might, you know, remember something. And just who do you think you are, young lady? All right, after this, we'll go down, which is apparently how I get to the end. This is Puzzled Aliens. It's worth 30 picarats. From high in the sky, a pair of aliens observes uh, humans using a bizarre object. Perplexed, one alien turns to another and says, How strange. The earthling is opening a hole in a sheet of paper and marking it with a line to show the other earthlings where the hole is. I've never seen anything like it. What could they be talking about? The earthling is opening <coughs> The earthling is opening a hole in a sheet of paper and marking it with a line to show where the other earthlings to show the other earthlings where the hole is. Is it a map of some sort? There's a hole in a sheet of paper. Is it a map? If they're marking it with a line to show the other earthlings where the hole is. Is it a map? Let's see. He said he's never seen this puzzle in the Spanish version. I don't think this is, um, I think it's not gonna, it's gonna be dumb. I don't think this is, let's see. Let's see if I can make an A. There's a trick to making A's on, uh, on this screen. On the Nintendo DS. I feel like this is one of the puzzles that you don't have to do. I'm just going to make a lowercase a. Okay, that works. I feel like this might be one of the optional puzzles that don't really do anything. And then a P. I feel like they're talking about a map. It's a hole in a sheet of paper. 
and then marking it with a line to show other earthlings where the hole is. Oh, it's not a map. Oh, how it's not a map. Don't give up. Most people don't use this object often, but almost everyone has used this tool in school at one point or another. It's a, it's a circle, with with what was it? A line. Let's look at it again. I feel like I feel like you could do this one. I feel like this one could be done. It's a it's a hole in a sheet of paper. That is marked with a line to show to show other Earthlings where the hole is. It's a hole in a sheet of paper that's marked with a line to show other Earthlings where the hole is, and it's often used by by it's used by it's used in school at one point or another. Earthling is opening a hole in a sheet of paper. It's not scissors. He's opening a hole. It's not scissors, is it? No, no, no. Scissors are used often. The game says it's not used often, but it's used by by people in school. The earthling is opening a hole in a sheet of paper and marking it with a line. These are some whacked out aliens. I mean, I'm going I'm to try. Mm. They wouldn't make me write scissors with this, would they? <laughs> I'm going to use hints. I'm going to use a hint. Even something as common as paper can look bizarre to someone who's never seen it before. What kind of device puts holes in paper? It's scissors, isn't it? It's, it's scissors. It's scissors. They're going to make me write scissors using this. Using this. Oh, Lord. Here we go with this nonsense. Fine. Here's an eye. No, here's an I. Oh my God. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. It's not gonna. It's not gonna give it to me. We we struggled with this when we first started. It won't let me get the I. I'm gonna listen to to avoid to avoid having to type that out and then not be scissors. I'm gonna blow another hint. The object uses a needle to punch a hole in a sheet of paper. It's then used to draw a solid line around the hole. What? The object uses a needle to punch a hole in a sheet of paper. Then it's used to draw a solid line around the hole. So it also has a needle in a way of writing. What the hell? I've never used this in school. I feel like I've never used this in school. A needle to punch a hole in a sheet of paper. Then that same tool is used to draw a line around the hole. I've never used, whatever this is, I've never used this in school in my life. And I spent a lot of time at school. It would be nice to have a hint that help you not finding but writing the solution. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Let's blow this last hint. It's safe to say that very few people ever use these once they grow up and join the working world. However, because of math class, a starting a startling number of students probably have one in their bag or their desk at home. Oh, it's a um it's a compass. It's a compass. Okay. Okay. That that, that was the most abstract clue ever. 
Oh my god. And even then, like when I used the compass in school, it didn't have a pen. It didn't have like a um a a, a pen or a pencil for it. It was a different it was a different compass altogether. I never would have got that without clues. We would have been sitting at this one forever. We've been sitting at this one forever. It's a compass. And even then, even, oh Lord, here comes the A's. Here comes the A's. Even then, with a uh, compass, compass, you, you really only use that like one year in all of school. Use that, not even a year really. Like, but I mean like one, one school year has it. There we go. It's ridiculous. Thinking is the key to success. It's ridiculous. I'm glad I didn't struggle to write scissors, that's for sure. Lord have mercy. When you think about it, the alien's description of a compass is pretty much spot on. Interestingly how widely the perception of a single object can vary, isn't it? You put a hole in the paper. And then and then we did we had compasses that didn't put holes in papers. This is just bonkers. <laughs> this whole thing is bonkers. This video was part of a stream. If you want to catch our streams live, make sure you subscribe to Alt Play as well as turn on notifications and follow at the Alt Play on Twitter. That way you can stay up to date on all changes.